Hello, I'm meteorologist Justin Burke, and welcome to the first episode of a new series I am dedicating to the most common question I get any time of the year. What is this cloud? So I was all set to kick this off with some really cool video and some photos and a topic all set out for this inaugural episode of What is this cloud? And then this cloud showed up in the mail. See, back on Mother's Day, I bought my wife a present from a website called Uncommon Goods. And as soon as I hit the send, I started getting served ads for this product. It is a weather predictor that's got these little, tiny crystals inside that are supposed to move around and change on their own based on the weather. I'm a sucker for that kind of stuff. They must have known me really well. And guess what? I went ahead and I made the purchase. Fast forward about a week and this box arrives from Uncommon Goods. It's got these cute little illustrations on there connecting you with independent makers since 1999. All right, that's a company I can get behind. It looks like they're involved with the community. And here we can see that they have raised over $1 million donated to many, many causes. All right, so I'm all for them. And they're all for animals and the environment. I want to remind you this is not a promotion for Uncommon Goods. I am just a paying customer and curious scientist. But it's the box on the inside that has our storm cloud that really matters. And yeah, you can see a little description of how this thing works on the side and of course another display here. But on the back is really a little bit of the history that was important to me. So let's read this together. In the 1860s, Admiral Robert Fitzroy popularized the storm glass, which promised to predict storms on the high seas. A modern twist on this classic device, the storm cloud offers an age-old way of seeing what the weather has in store. Consisting of a special liquid that crystallizes to indicate whether it'll be fair, cloudy, rainy, windy, or stormy, the storm cloud belongs on the windowsill or desk of the curious-minded. That's me. I had to see if this thing really works. I still want to understand why, but now you understand why I had to do this and why I had to share this with you. How does this work? That's what I want to find out. On the side of the box, there's an illustration of what this thing should look like depending on the weather outside. Inside, there's actually a deeper description that goes like this. Clear liquid equals bright and clear weather. Cloudy liquid, sometimes with small stars and crystals at the top, equals cloudy weather and often predicts thunderstorms and rain. Small dots in the liquid equals humid or foggy weather. Large flaky crystals equals cloudy skies or snow in the winter, that's my favorite. Threads of crystals at the top, that's windy weather, and crystals at the bottom means frost may be coming. But does this actually work? That is what I'm gonna check out and get back to you. I need to spend this over a couple of weeks in a wide range of weather to see if this does exactly what it is supposed to do. I hope so, I don't wanna be let down. What do you think? Well, check back. I promise I will follow up and I have lots of other weather content, especially related to clouds that I will share with you. So make sure you subscribe to this channel right here on YouTube. Thanks a lot for watching. And I hope this turns out to be a good thing because there's a lots of stuff out there that always needs a little bit of an explanation. And maybe in the process, I'm going to learn a little bit more too. <laughs> I'll see you.